Hey guys, this is Austin, and today at CES, Razer has a special treat for the Xbox. This is the Razer turret for the Xbox One. The Xbox just got full support for a mouse and keyboard, and this is one of the very first official options for it. Now, you can plug in a normal wired mouse and keyboard and it will work fine, but what's cool about this is it's specifically meant for the Xbox and it is fully wireless. On the keyboard side, we do have Razer green mechanical switches as well as Chroma support, so it's very similar to what you would find on their standard PC keyboards, and this actually does work on the PC, although it's meant for the Xbox. But what's cool about this is that it also does have a magnetic mouse pad. Magnetic mouse pad. So when you're not using it, it has a slightly stronger magnet on the edge, but if you move it away, it's very lightly magnetized. And when you're sitting on a couch, this is actually a really nice setup. So of course, it's nice to have those full mechanical key switches. What's cool about this entire setup is it does use a single dongle to connect to the Xbox or your PC. The idea here is that this is something which is meant for very high-end PC gaming, which you can also use for the Xbox and vice versa. It even does have a specific Xbox button on the keyboard. So if you want to build your own ultimate Xbox One, this is a little bit on the pricey side. It is going to be shipping soon for a full $250. So, I mean, you're getting a high-end keyboard, you're getting the high-end mouse, it is, of course, all wireless, but it's uh, not exactly cheap when that's about the same price as an Xbox One S. Next up, we have Razer's very first gaming monitor, the Razer Raptor, which is all the way over there because Ken said that the shot would be ugly if I stood in front of it. So what you're looking at here is a 27 inch monitor with a 1440p resolution as well as a 144 hertz refresh rate, but it goes a lot beyond that. So Razer being Razer, it actually is built really well. And of course, Razer being Razer, there's plenty of RGB. Look, everyone can agree with that statement, right? That's, that's, that's a pretty reasonable, it's built well and it's RGB, this is the, the quality components. So you've got all the rest of the specs you would expect, including HDR 400, as well as it is a FreeSync monitor, although potentially there also might be a G-Sync version coming soon. But what I really look at when I see this monitor, especially considering that we just play with the turret, is that this could be really cool for the ultimate Xbox. Think about it, right? So you've got 1440p resolution, which would work well with the 1X, and you've also got FreeSync. So, uh... Part two of this video, maybe? Ken's trying to stop me from shooting over here, but I don't care, I have my ghost lamp. So what's cool about this is it's actually really built well. So if you want, I'm gonna carefully do this, you actually can flip the monitor all the way up, and what you get here is some actually really nice cable management. So what's cool about this is that all these cables come with the monitor. So you got USB-C, USB-A, HDMI. I mean, it's really nice to have all this stuff that all comes with it. And part of that is because this little channel here is specifically meant for these cables. Now the base itself is actually forged aluminum. And while I'm sure that's incredibly expensive, it does mean that this is a really nice looking monitor front and back. There's also the chroma underglow. However, the downside here is it's a little bit on the pricey side. By little, I mean it's $700. So it's a super high-end gaming monitor, and I'm excited to see it when it comes out a little bit later this year. We also have one more thing to talk about as I walk back to the spot that Ken has approved with actual lighting. So this is the new Razer Blade 15 Advanced. So as you would expect, it has been upgraded with RTX, so it starts with an RTX 2060, but you can also upgrade it with an RTX 2070 Max-Q or 2080 Max-Q. So in addition to the big graphics bump, there is also now a Windows Hello webcam. But what's cool about this is that while all of these configurations will be available on January 29th, 2060, 2070, 2080, there are also some upgraded versions that will be coming a little bit later, including this, which has a full 240 hertz display. I mean, I can't see the difference. My eyes can see like 90 hertz, but uh, it's super smooth. So this is still technically a concept, although Razer has said that it should be coming out hopefully this year. But what's cool about it, oh well, I almost pulled the lights again. Um, I'm gonna actually set this down on the table before I accidentally break uh, a prototype here. So it's really hard to show on camera, but the actual response in this here is crazy. Now not to say that the 144 hertz looks bad, but this is super, super responsive and this should be coming soon, but on top of that, this, this is what I'm really excited about. This is a blade with a 4K OLED panel. So the exact configuration of this is still to be determined, but the idea that you can get a 4K touchscreen OLED on a blade is a seriously big deal. Now I don't have the exact specs, they're still calibrating and figuring out exactly what it will look like, but the demo here, I mean, look, this is not a bad looking screen, but the OLED just completely blows it away, right? I mean, just the actual level of not only brightness and contrast, but especially when you look at like the black levels. I mean, it's so bright, it's so vivid. Can you tell that I like OLED? I want OLED on my next laptop. Don't mind me. I'm just going to enjoy OLED on a laptop. <laughs> Why you got to be judgmental, man? OLED looks nice. Dude, seriously. So obviously the high refresh rate is nice, and this will not be like some 144 hertz panel. It's 4K. But the idea that you can get such a high quality screen on a laptop, the screen is so unbelievably bright that the camera can't handle it. Can you just stop down and show people how bright it is? 
Look how dark everything has to be just to be able to see just how bright the screen is. So that is what Razer has at CES 2019. So a lot of cool upgrades to the blade, a lot of cool upgrades for Xbox, and a lot of downgrades for my wallet.